Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indices and the big tech stocks in the United States. And it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, November 23rd, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon where we have 90 active student traders using our signal service. And you'll get access to our full technical analysis and also it's possible to join us on uh, live trade and also on our, with our, on our courses. So this has been a very uh, strange week to be very honest. There was so much noise this week uh, due to all the pronunciations uh, or announcements of vaccines. So we had major, three major um, news and basically news uh, um, days on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday about technically vaccines that are on the way. But the strange thing, the strange thing is that the market or the indices. Um, were relatively quiet. There was, of course, a lot of news, but you would expect this to absolutely explode to the upside. But that's not what we saw. We saw some commodities to do that, but we did not see the indices do that. And that is and that should be a quite a warning sign, technically. So coronavirus led us into this big uh, problem. You should expect a vaccine to be like a massive tax cut or cutting the interest rate to to uh, to uh, to to zero and so on and get this market basically exploded to the upside but that is not what we saw it has been choppy but the movement to the upside that has stalled and if those good headlines can't move this market higher i don't really know what is going to move this market higher so at this point Probably the reason why it did not move is because of this number here. We are at 77.48 in the RSI. And that is really, really, really high for an RSI in the daily lately chart for the S&P 100. And what that means is basically that we are way, way, way overstretched due to this uh, move from the, uh, from the election. And we have not had a significant pullback since that um uh, since this massive move to the upside but i do believe that next week we are going to see that move uh, how far we will go that is um that is that's going to be the question i'm not indicating that anybody should sell this but rather uh, invest in order to uh, get this cheap but um probable target would be here around the 50 moving average and that is 3,400 or 3,450. And the reason why I say that is because the MACD is basically this bullish run on the MACD is coming to an end. It is turning around. It's gone to cross the signal line at least on Monday or on Tuesday. The RSI is technically overbought. CCI is going to, um, uh, is becoming uh, bearish. And so is the stochastic. It has already crossed the signal line, indicating that we are going to lower. So, I have no interest in basically buying this. I don't know what news can be um, uh, can get this higher, or uh, probably stimulus can get this higher. But but uh, but we are most likely going to go lower, and you probably see as well the U.S. dollar index becoming uh, going to be uh, going to appreciate uh, in the coming weeks, and that will also affect this negatively. So target here most likely three thousand four hundred fifty. If that breaks, we have the 100 moving average right underneath. That is around 3,350. And then all the way down to these very lows at 3,200. So looking at the Dow Jones, very similar here. We did uh, rally a little bit due to, the, uh, to um, the news on Monday, but still we fell all the way on, especially on Wednesday. And today has been a red session. We're down half a percent. The Dow Jones is significantly overbought. MACD is turning around. CCI is turning around. Stochastic has turned around for a long, long time ago. And that indicates that we are going to go lower. A break below this, um, this line here opens the door to the 20, but especially the 50 moving average. And the 50 moving average is at 28,200 uh, or thereabout. So 
A break below that opens the gate to much lower levels, all the way down to 27,000 and probably 26,500. I don't think we're going that low. I think the 50 moving average is as low as we'll get, and then we'll turn around and go and uh, I'll take out these highs again. But I do expect this market to fall next week as well for most of the commodities market um, and some of the currencies as well that have been rallying this week. Um, there's just no grounds for, for example, more, more of most of the commodities to to rally in, at this point. It's basically based on speculation and, 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 and news. So if you look at the NASDAQ, NASDAQ has been, um, it, well, having said, it has been trending very, very slowly upwards. We have been, uh, we found support here at the 20 exponential moving average. We pierced it once last, was last week towards the 50 and then rallied again. And then we're just been hanging around here. But you can see how little movement there has been here. Also, when we had all the good news about the vaccine and so on. There's not been a lot of movement to the upside. And we are overbought in the, in the NASDAQ. We can go further. We'll probably go and test these highs before we turn around. But I don't expect the NASDAQ to basically explode to the upside or break all of these, uh, these highs. This is going to be a gradual grind and probably a pullback towards the 50 and then also going gradually higher. Uh, the technical indicators for, for NASDAQ are not as dire as they are for the Dow Jones and S&P 500. But they are still not very, they're not bullish. The MACD is basically flat, it's going to cross the signal line now. This is flat as well, the RSI. It is overbought. The CCI, CCI is flat. The stochastic is bearish. And the Bollinger Bay, we're basically flat here as well. So we are trading sideways. We'll probably break down here towards the 50 and then rally up towards these previous highs. That is what I expect for the NASDAQ in the, in the coming week. So if you look at Netflix, as I said yesterday, um, Netflix was expected to rally, but it only rallied up towards the 50 moving average and then gave some of these gains back. But at this point, I think that Netflix is going to break the 50. It's going to break this $500 um, uh, price level here, and it will go and test these highs of uh, 516. <clears throat> After that, we will go to the very high state of 574. Um, yes, the reason why it is, is basically, technically all these indicators are turning around. We have been very bearish with, with NASDAQ for, not NASDAQ, but Netflix for quite some time. And it is about time that we move to the upside. So this is a stock that I will be investing in in next week because I think this is one of the most promising tech stocks that is going to uh, technically mirror the same moves that we have seen over here and over here that we traded sideways for quite some time and then basically had a major move to the upside same here and then major move to the upside so i expect something very similar here all the way up to 574. if you look at microsoft microsoft didn't do anything today we're at the, we're down 0 0.15 0 0.16 say 13 we're technically the same place as we started um, technical index for, for uh, Microsoft got are all over the place. Uh, RSI is flat, the CCI is ne negative, the same goes to stochastic is never ne negative, and the CC uh, MACD is also fairly bear bearish at this point. So we need a pullback towards the, the 150. That, open, that is basically a buying opportunity and targeting these highs at 225 and also 233. Otherwise, that no interest to basically buying this at whatsoever. So, if you look at Apple, Apple has done <laughs> merely the same as as uh, Microsoft. These most of these major tax stocks haven't moved um, that much um, in the past days. You can see that there has been a lot of choppiness all uh, around and not a lot of movement back and forwards uh, a lot along the um, uh, twenty exponential moving average, but. These indicators could point to lower levels. We can see that we are overbought. The MACD is turning around. Stochastic has turned around a long time ago. And so is the CCI. So that means that we could fall all the way down towards this 100 moving average around $112 before we start rallying again. 
I'm no interest in basically buying this as long as this uh, uh, RSI is this high. We need a pullback in order to go higher from here. So if you look at Amazon, Amazon is only up to 0 0.03. That is technically nothing. We are trading underneath the 15 moving average. We'll probably break down towards the 150 and then rally. But otherwise, at the moment, we're trading sideways. And uh, there is not a lot of movement to the upside at this point. Um, the, but all technical indicators are fairly negative, except for the RSI. But otherwise, they are technically flat at this point, or ne negative. So we have uh, Tesla. Tesla has been a major rally uh, this week. We rallied around 25% Tesla in one week. And now we're finding major resistance here at the top. And now we're about to break to the downside. I don't think that Tesla will go higher from here. We are significantly overbought. Technical indicators are turning around. We are crossed way across the Bollinger Band. And that should be a major warning sign for everybody that's holding this stock at this point. So uh, expect Tesla to fall uh, all the way towards the, the 50 moving average around uh, 420 eight dollars so that is a fall of a roughly roughly 15 percent 15 point yeah 14 percent or something like that that is uh, is around here 12.5 percent should be exact uh, in the next week um this was mainly due to the fact that tesla uh, joined the s&p has is going to join the s&p 500 and uh yes we basically made a double top here. So expect this to fall down um, in next week's trade session. So look at uh, Facebook. Facebook has been doing nearly nothing today. Zero point minus zero point thirty three at this point. We are trading just above the 50 moving average uh, between the 20 exponential and the 50. And at this point, we're probably looking for this market to go and the stock to go a little bit lower. If we could get down towards the 100 moving average at 263, then we could target the very highs again. Um, other than that, there's no reason to enter this market whatsoever at the moment. We're in the middle of nowhere. So Google. Uh, Google has uh, broken down a little bit, nearly half a percent. Uh, at this point, we are crossing the signal line in the MACD. RSI is turning around. CCI is turning around. Stochastic. Everything is turning around. This is a stock that is going to go lower next week. There is no momentum to the upside at this point. We'll probably have a gradual decline, but we could also have a major drop towards the 50 and find some support there and then go higher. I prefer the gradual decline. I think that is what we're going to see, something similar to this. Uh, but upside, I'm not in favor of. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon in order to, to get our signal service and also to see our full technical analysis and to, you can join our live trades as well. So good luck and thank you very much.